Nick here, and today you will learn how to play Sushi Go. Sushi Go is a card game for 2 to 5 players with an average play session of 15 minutes. Let's start with the setup. Shuffle all the cards and deal a certain number of cards per player. For 2 player games deal 10 cards, for 3 player games deal 9, for 4 player games deal 8, and for 5 player games deal 7 cards to each player. Place the rest of the cards in a face down pile near the playing area. Then, each player gets their cards. And now, you're ready to learn how to play. The game is played in three rounds. You score points at the end of each round, and the player that scores the most points at the end of three rounds wins. To start a round, all players simultaneously choose one card from their hand that they would like to keep, and place it face down in front of them. Here is an example with a four-player game. Then, players reveal their face down cards. After revealing cards, pass your remaining cards to the player on your left while keeping them face down. Players repeat these actions until the final remaining card of each hand is passed on. Place the last card face up with the other cards you have collected and you are ready to score a round. Now let's talk about the cards and their score. We will start with Maki Rolls. Each card has Maki Rolls icons on top. At the end of a round, the player with the most icons scores 6 points, and the player with the second most icons scores 3 points. If multiple players tie, they split the points evenly, ignoring any remainder. Tempura. A set of 2 Tempura score 5 points. A single Tempura is not worth points, but you may score multiple sets. Sashimi. A set of 3 Sashimis score 10 points. Less than 3 don't grant any points. You may score multiple sets though. Dumplings. The more dumpling cards you have, the more points you score. Having one dumpling gives you one point, two gives three points, three gives six points, four gives ten, and five gives fifteen points. Nigiris. Nigiris give you the amount of points written at the bottom. An egg nigiri is worth one point, a salmon nigiri is worth two points, and a squid nigiri is worth three points. And nigiris can be combined with the wasabi card. They must be played before playing a nigiri. In this example, I played a wasabi card in the previous turn, and on this turn, I played the nigiri. The nigiri must be placed on top of the wasabi, if a wasabi card is played before. It triples the score of a nigiri. In this example, the salmon nigiri, which is worth 2 points, triples its value to 6 points. You can only have one nigiri card for each wasabi, and wasabi cards without a nigiri on top don't score. Chopsticks. The chopsticks allow you to play two cards on the same turn whenever you want to activate it. In order to do so, play the chopstick card on a turn, and on the next turn, choose your card as usual. Before everyone else reveals their cards, call out Sushi Go, and take a second card from your hand, also placing it face up on the table. Before passing hands, put the chopstick card back into your hand, so it's passed to the next player. This means that other players will be able to use it as well. Chopsticks don't score points. Pudding. These cards score at the end of the third round, and they are the only cards that remain played in between rounds. The player with the most pudding cards scores 6 points. The player with the fewest pudding cards, which includes players with none, loses 6 points. If multiple players tie for the second or the least, they split the points evenly, ignoring any remainder. Once the third round is played, Sum the points for the round, including the pudding and the sum of values with the score from the first and second rounds. To see a round scoring example, the players score no points for Tempura, as there is no pair of them. He has two dumplings, which gives him three points. A salmon nigiri dipped in wasabi gives six points, and no points for sashimi, since you need three to score, giving a total of nine points for this round. If this was the last round, Imagining this player was the player with the least puddings, he would get minus 6 points, totalizing 3 points for the last round. And that's how you play Sushi Go. If you have any questions, check the FAQ in the video's description or leave a comment. On my channel, you can find other how to play videos and board game first impressions and unboxing. If you're new to my channel, welcome and consider subscribing to receive the latest how to play video updates. See you next time.